Alright, yo, I'm gonna show you how to get stupid rich with no boosting and with no competition for nodes as a druid inside ZG. I'm gonna show you all the nodes you can consistently get without dying. And all you need to do is be in a group with your alt. And uh, what's not clearly explained anywhere is that you just, once you get in a group with your alt and it's time to reset, all you do is walk out, right click on your name and set, hit reset all instances, and then go right back in and you're good. Um, the prerequisites are either mining or herbalism or both. Um, I have both to increase the amount of money I get, obviously. And then uh, you need the feral instinct talent so that, uh, or else a couple of these nodes won't be available to you if you don't have this. Um, the other thing is you need to enable floating combat text. Go right here, click this, and the only one of these that matters is show combat state because um, you need to show when you come in and out of combat because every second is going to matter. Um, Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so the first one is probably the hardest one. It's up by the raptor boss in the back, the triple raptor pack. And uh, this one's probably the hardest one because there's just so much RNG bullshit that can happen. But uh, you just use travel form to run back if anything happens. You see me soothing all of the raptors. You hug the wall, go up to it, and you can ding twice before you have to go into travel form and run back out. Check this out. Boom, arcane crystal. Hit it again. Boom, another one. Travel form, hug the wall. Run back to the reset spot. And you just travel form and run back to the reset spot if anything bad happens. Because sometimes it'll resist the soothe animal and then, uh, you know, they'll obviously attack you and you gotta run back. This one takes some practice, probably the most practice. All the other ones are pretty easy. So yeah, just run back to this tree stump. Everything will reset. Go back into stealth and we can try it again. But this one went successfully, so that's it. Okay, so for this vein, in that back pyramid where the raptor boss is, there's two veins that can spawn on either side, and right here is why I say you need the Feral Instinct talent, you see how they turned? That was with the Feral Instinct talent, if you don't have it, they'll just attack you and you won't be able to get into this area at all. Um, and this dude guarding the bottom of the stairs, um, if you can't walk right next to him, you have to kind of jump on the side because even with Feral Instinct, if you just walk right next to him, he'll attack you and you gotta run up and reset. Um, but the gist of this is, uh, I got this from the Rogue video. Um, some of you probably already seen it. Uh, you pull these up here, you turn around, and as soon as the ads hit the, uh, the stairs, you want to activate Bark Skin, go into Bear Form, activate Slow Walk, and then you want to backpedal off the side. Um, you don't want to get hit by them for too long because they will one shot you. That's why you need bark skin and um, bear form. So when you drop down, do not move or they'll still one shot you. You need to unactivate your slow walk so that you'll move at full speed again. And you got to wait for leaving combat to, s to get on your screen. There you go. And then jump down, mine it, cat form stealth as fast as you can after you get it and then you should be good just rinse and repeat um, there's the vein on the opposite side you do the exact same thing you just mirror it and you just run it back okay so when you come down from the raptor boss there's the second pyramid and a herb can spawn on the side but in this case it's the uh, thorium vein um, and you basically do the exact same thing uh, there's a pat that can come around and uh, if you're trying to jump down after you're trying to reset them and they're there then you can't get it. See that one on the right that's uh, running back there? They can get you sometimes but they're running away so it's not going to matter. Wait for them to clear then so when they get up here activate your bark skin, get into bear form, activate slow walk. These you can kind of let hit you a little bit, back off the edge. You can move because they don't do as much damage as the raptors. Unactivate your slow walk, wait for them to reset, then you go up there, dang it, and uh, do it over again. Okay, so this is the tiger pack. Those two blueberries, the big dudes, 
that pat around, you gotta make sure that they're clear of the entrance of the uh, where the boss is, so you can reset and that one coming. Um, there's that padding tiger that goes back and forth, you gotta kill him every time um, before you can grab anything over there. Okay, so here you see me marking all the tigers that pat around that you need to pull in order to get the voodoo pile. In order to get the uh, thorium vein, the only ones you're going to need to pull are skull, square, and X if you're just getting the thorium vein. But I think I pull them all right here. Um, there's two herbs that can spawn here, the voodoo pile and the uh, mining vein. back behind this tree stump, gather him up better, come around, you jump on that little step, the stump, and you go down to get more distance, because you want to uh, increase the amount of time it takes for them to get to you as much as possible. doing this one I like to get the voodoo pile last because you can get MC and things can go wrong so I make sure I get everything else first okay so here I'm gonna show you how to get the rest of them the veins the rest of the, uh, the, the mountain silver sage and the voodoo pile so I think for this one I'm gonna pull all of them again maybe just the top three you gotta wait for them to kind of get grouped up a little bit Hurricane one pack, Moonfire the other ones, then go travel for them and run around to the reset spot. Again, bring them behind the tree stump, gather them up. Make sure you turn around so you don't get dazed. stealth after you grab it unfortunately there was a rune cloth and here's a good example of what can go wrong when you're doing the voodoo piles and uh, in this clip I contradicted myself I said I like to get the voodoo piles last but uh see I get MC'd and there's still veins up and you'll die and have to run back so that's why you want to do the voodoo pile last here I get MC'd but thankfully I'm still in travel form when the MC breaks you're gonna have to run like hell And this is like the luckiest of uh, lucky RNG. There was a dream foil here, a mountain silver sage, a thorium vein, and a hoodoo pile. The hoodoo pile is always there, but all three of those, that's crazy. It failed, so I go back into stealth. Gotta do it again. It's just what it is. See, I just pulled square X and skull that time because I'm just going for the vein and the little herb that's right there. So if they don't all pull, it doesn't matter because they're not going to aggro when I finally get back there. You see right here, I kind of screw up. The tigers were too close, so they re-aggroed as soon as they de-aggroed. And the reason it failed the first time is because I started recording for this guide when uh, I just like leveled herbalism, so I think it was like 280 something, so sometimes it would fail. But we got it that time. 
turn around, just gotta pull the same three. They're all grouped up already. I can them again so I can go grab the, uh, the thorium vein. Now when you drop down, if you did it correctly, you can come over here and ding this twice before having to go back to stealth. Once, twice, stealth. And that's how it's done. Okay, so up here right next to the tigers, sometimes a dream foil can spawn. There's a padding tiger that you need to kill. I think there's two of them actually. Uh, I already killed one at this point. So get him down, and then the idea is you're going to do the same thing you did with the raptor packs. You're going to use Soothe Animal on the two tigers that are by the uh, node, and then you can just walk up and grab it and uh, go to the reset spot if anything aggroes. Careful, you kind of want to be as far away from the vein or the node as possible so they don't aggro, but sometimes they aggro anyway, like right there. But no biggie, just reset, don't freak out. So, a little bit down the road, this is the easiest uh, vein to get in the whole instance. Um, right here, you see that there are bats, but Every time you reset, there's going to be a different animal there. The bats is the hardest combo. You use Soothe Animal on them, go down, and you can ding twice. So per Soothe Animal, you can ding twice. If there's more you can ding, you just Soothe the animal again, and you can keep going, and then go back into stealth. I think right here there was only two. Yeah, only two, and you can go back into stealth. The bats are the hardest because they bring you out of stealth, but I think panthers can spawn there, and with panthers, you don't even have to use Soothe Animal. You can just walk back there and grab it. It's super easy. Okay, now this spot back here, this is the last big pyramid. Um, two herbs can spawn, and a hoodoo pile spawns on the left, right, and back side of this pyramid every time. Um, one Dreamful and one Golden Sanchem. Um, this is where you're going to get the majority of your voodoo dolls. Um, you can sell them for a high price. On my server, the Rogue, Warrior, and Mage ones are going for a lot. Um, Arcane Crystals have gone up in price recently, and you can still get Bloodvine from every herb in here. So even grabbing the Golden Chansom is worth it, because you can get a Bloodvine, and that sells for like 20-something gold on my server. So, um, you're just going to come up here to aggro the right side. You see on my thing, there's a Dreamfall on the right side. Um, and you pull all three sides the exact same way, so I'm probably just going to explain the first one and then show you the rest. All you want to do is you want to be on the second platform, like the, uh, the one that's below, pull them, drop off this side, make sure there's not a panther pack coming around because then you'll fuck it all up, go back up. And do the same thing you did on the other pyramids. You're going to activate Bark Skin. Go into bear form when they get close, obviously. And then backpedal your way off the back edge to create as much time for them to run back to you as possible. I get the pile here because I didn't walk up far enough. Uh, what you want to do is position yourself in between the dream foil and the hoodoo pile. Right here, see I didn't get it, I was still kind of experimenting with it. But that's how you do every single pull. So no matter what you want, you just pull them up to the top, drop down, and then go back and grab it. So I'm not going to explain the rest of this, I'm just going to let it play out. But uh, this is pretty much how you get Voodoo Dolls, Bloodvine, Dreamful, Mountain Silver Sage, Thorium Veins, and Arcane Crystals. You can make a killing off of this. I mean, I average about two to three hundred gold an hour 
if I'm going full speed and I'm not dying, you know, you can make some serious guap doing this. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to let the rest play out so you can see how I do it. And uh, have a good one, dude. That's all the sides. Thanks for watching. Go make some money.